So, pardon the propane and propane accessories. Uh, we're about to choppy to chop, start massaging this thing back so that it will snap into this like a Lego set. Once we pop her in, we can start tickety tacking anywhere we can't get to. Once we reinforce everything with metal, then we'll just slap it full of some liquid nails construction glue. Just like every other seam on these fucking things. That is exactly what it is. So, as long as it's rigidly structural, we're going to add some roll bars later, obviously. But, uh, here we go. Now we just got to chop it each out. COVID. Alright, I think I'm safe up here. Maybe I'm safe up here. <laughs> Alright. So we've measured about 150 different directions. Figured out where we want everything to fit. We still have the structural integrity of the overhead system built into that B pillar. But we're going to be creating this B pillar by grafting it all into it. So again, over here, we've taken a lot of measurements. We've cut everything back slowly until we have it exactly where we think we need it. Now we can pop it back in there and see if it snaps in like a Lego or not. And then we keep adjusting one or the other until they click together and then the welding is literally just secondary to keep it from coming out. It'll also make it stronger than it was before. We'll have more support back here on the back end. And then this will get grafted into it so we keep that same corrugated roof line all the way to the end of the uh, new cab. So now we just got a test fit and we'll see what happens. So we got the windows in from a Ranger S10 back window. I'm gonna reuse the top of the roof to uh, finalize it. And then we can seal in the back, put some tail lights on it. Neat. All right, so we got this thing all glued up. Roof's all attached, satin blacked everything. I even put the seat belts back in. We got them on the back up, but they're ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, we got a little truck. We'll pull it around front and do a little fashion show so you can see it in the daylight, but it's functional. We'll find a Jeep Comanche in the trunk yard and uh, chop the bed rails and the tailgate latches out and then put the tailgate in it and it'll say Jeep. Do custom tail lights by then. 